Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're all well. It's Thirsty Thursday again and this week is a bit special because it's International Shiraz Day, which we're all very excited about here at General Wine Company. Um, so I'm not sure if you know this, but Shiraz has two names. In the new world it's called Shiraz and in the old world it's called Syrah. Exactly the same grape, just called a different name. But to avoid any confusion, and because we have friends staying at the moment from Australia, I've picked this beautiful Shiraz from Mac McLaren Vale in South Australia. This is the Carnival of Love from Molly Duca, or Molly Duca, as they say down under. So this is amazing. It's bower fermented in 100% brand new American oak and is bursting with fruit. Red cherries, blackberries, and a sort of a, a sort of a fresh violet sort of flavour, like a Turkish delight that just lifts it up. Um, and the oak helps to add um, sort of complex layers that balance it perfectly. So you get layers of chocolate, there's licorice in there, a little bit of spice, some subtle vanilla, um, and then the sort of fresh fruit flavour again, which sort of lifts it all up. It's absolutely lovely. The tannins are beautifully smooth and silky, um, and in your mouth it just feels like melted chocolate. Um, it's very high in alcohol, but 16%. So please drink responsibly, wine drinkers. Um, but oh my goodness, what's not to like? So in South Australia, it's the hot sunshine that helps the grapes develop such a big, bold flavour. There's lots of sugar, and then that will change to alcohol, which makes the very high alcohol levels. Um, and this is one of the main reasons why Australian Shiraz is so very different to an old world European Syrah from a much cooler climate, which would be a lot more sort of refined and elegant, um, not so fruit forward. So in the new world, there's also the opportunity to experiment a bit more. They're not so constrained by lots of rules and regulations like they are in sort of France and places. So the people at Molly Duca have used nitrogen to help preserve the wine because it also reduces the amount of sulfites in the wine so more people can drink it. The only thing with it is, is the nitrogen gets stuck in the bottle, temporarily affecting the sort of flavours of the wine. So it needs to be released so that all the flavours can spring back to life. Um, so what they did was they developed something called the Molly Duca Shake. So there is instructions on their website and on YouTube and things of how to do it. But just to summarise, basically what you do is take the lid off, pour a little bit out, put the lid back on, very important, um, turn it upside down and give it a good, good shake. Go like this and this releases all the nitrogen when you turn it back up you'll be able to see that there's lots of sort of fizz in the neck so you do that again one more shake like this and then just open it and drink it and it's quite nice to compare the pre-shaken wine with the after shaken wine and just to see the difference with all the flavors released um, so the price on this is quite high it is £59 normally, but with your Thirsty Thursday 10% discount, it's going to be £53.10. p. I do hope you like it, lovely wine drinkers. Remember to drink this responsibly because it is very high in alcohol. Happy International Shiraz Day and happy drinking. See you next week. Bye.